Hello everyone, uh, it's been a while since my last real upload, but I'm trying to rectify that. I have three upcoming videos in the works. First one has run into some editing problems, but hopefully I can get that done early July, since there's only three more days left in June, so I probably won't get that out, but second video is running okay but the problem is it references a lot of stuff from the first video so i have to upload the first video first and then the second video second because of continuity then finally with the third video well i still have to write the fucking thing so here we are but that's neither here nor there now get to the task at hand With that being, Soldier Boy is Peacemaker, but done right. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, a friend of mine brought this up to me a while back, even though he tried to just get my goat with it. Honestly, I kind of agree with him, because even though I really liked The Suicide Squad, Peacemaker wasn't really one of those aspects. He had some moments, he had some funny lines here and there, but... Eh, could have been a lot better, but I want to talk about Soldier Boy first. Now, Soldier Boy, obviously in The Boys, in both the comic and the show, is that he is supposed to be a pastiche of Captain America, but a degenerate version of Captain America. Now, Captain America is embodies and personifies what America could be and the American dream soldier boy is pretty much how every country views America a terrible degenerate asshole sexist racist homophobic all this other shit pretty much just the worst of the worst now with that he is quite a departure from his comic book counterpart in his comic book counterpart is the total other extreme absolute wimp total pussy is the laughing stock of tons of other heroes in the in the comics is pretty much again the opposite of captain america but in a wimpy way rather than a degenerate way now with this why does soldier boy work well soldier boy works is because he's just like every other soup he is a degenerate piece of shit. As I said before, he's unaware, well, he's, un he's mostly unaware of the situation around him and how he treats people like absolute garbage, kind of regardless of sex, orientation, race. He's kind of just a piece of shit to everyone, but he thinks he's a hero. He actually knows he's a hero because he well he was brought up like that and what he was instilled by Vought. Now with this, he is American patriotism personified, but the worst parts. He fights the good fight, like in World War Two and I assume Vietnam, but that's hasn't really been uh showcased in the show, but I assume yes. But the problem is, sure, he has fought the good fight and probably helped in the many wars. He's still a piece of shit. He's killed innocents. And he's, a, as I said many times, he's an asshole. But the thing that makes Soldier Boy work is that he thinks he's a hero when he isn't. And for Soldier Boy... That works because he is playing it straight. He's not aware of the stupidity of his existence, just like every other soup. Well, mostly other soups. Uh, Queen Maeve is aware, Starlight's aware, and maybe A Train, but fuck him. So, with that, why does Peacemaker not work? Peacemaker. Well, let's talk about the original vision in terms of the movie version. Now, this could just be a rumor, but 
John Cena wanted to play Peacemaker like a hard militaristic type. He was pretty much eyeballing Arlie Ermey from Full Metal Jacket. Now, for whatever reason, James Gunn was against this. He wanted douchey Captain America, which is essentially what we got. Now, why that was changed, I don't know, but it was pretty much probably to amp up the stupidity of the movie in a good way. Well, mostly a good way, and to fit more of James Gunn's style. Now, with this, what is Peacemaker's comic book counterpart? Well, he aligns, ironically, with more of Soldier Boy in the Boys television series. How he is a straight-laced guy who is unaware of the irony of his mission to obtain peace whenever possible. He is... Like, kind of like what is hinted at in the movie, but it's never fleshed out how I will obtain peace no matter how many men, women, and children I have to kill to obtain that goal, or whatever the fuck he actually said. Yes, that is shown in the film, but again, it's not really fleshed out properly. Mainly because the problem with Peacemaker in the movie, and definitely in the show, is that he's aware of the joke. He is in on the joke, and with that, it's not as funny. Now, plenty of fourth wall breaking characters work, mainly Deadpool. But here, it's just, they take a really funny idea for a character and just make the character funny, if that makes sense. Like, more of like an ironic character and makes him unironic by just making him funny. Now, he's aware of his stupidity. He's aware of the jokes surrounding him about how he will kill as many people to obtain peace. And that's simply not as interesting and not as funny. And then mainly in the show, from what I've seen of it, I tried watching it, but God knows I wanted to fucking blow my brains out by the second episode, so no thanks. But from what I have seen of the show further on is that they are simply redeeming his character. He's trying to be a genuine hero, and the fact he's aware of his villainous side. And again, it brings up the idiotic idea of redeeming your villain, which is a trope that a lot of fucking people are sick of nowadays, because everybody's doing, oh, the villain is the hero of his own story. Oh, you need to redeem the villain. Oh, you need to you need to have a sympathetic villain. It's like, we get it. Just give us a villain that's evil for the sake of evil. I want to see more fucking Clarence Boddickers, less fucking Thanos. Fuck off with that shit. Now, that's pretty much the main thing of why Soldier Boy works and Peacemaker doesn't. Soldier Boy is not in on the joke. He's not aware of the irony of his character. He's not aware that he is a degenerate piece of shit. Hence why that works and pretty much what Peacemaker should be, but isn't because James Gunn likes to have the same fucking character in every one of his movies over and over and over again. And that was kind of the unfortunate part of Peacemaker. And uh, Peacemaker is in on the joke. He's aware of his stupidity. He's aware that of his ironic mission. And then they try to redeem him. It just, to put it simply, doesn't work. And with that, Soldier Boy is pretty much the better version of Peacemaker. Because... Of everything I literally just said for the past 10 minutes. If, you, if you're forgetting that and you need me to give like an in conclusion, just fucking go back and fucking rewatch the video. So with this, hopefully in the coming weeks, I will be releasing my next three videos. Till then, see you soon.